Right then, uh, today I'm here on my own because I couldn't get anywhere fishing and I needed to get out, so I'm here at my local pond. I uh, just had a nice roach, I'll put a picture in towards the end of the video. Uh, I'm using luncheon meat which has been rolled round in some mantra ground bait, I think. Yeah, the packet's beer. 1kg mantra ground bait, bait tech. Um, I'll show you my setup in a bit and I'll see you if I get a fish on a bank. Well, there we go. There's the first carp of the session. Uh, not the biggest of fish, but in this pond, as you suspect, they wouldn't come very big, would they? You have an open part over there. But, uh, it's just, you know, you don't get anything over there, like not even a bite, but over here, this is the best part. So, nice little common. Uh, get him back and see you when I have a fish on the bank. It's going good. Right, the setup I'm going to be using today is probably the simplest you could ever imagine. I don't want to go all complicated with it all today because in this lake it's just got hundreds of small carp. You're lucky if you get the odd fish, it's just a nice place to come. Just like, you know, give it a go. So I'm using light, light wed, lead. Normal black bead, a barrel swivel, then down to a hay rig that I made myself. And on the hay, I've got that lunch meat I showed you that's been covered in the ground bait with a size 10 wide gape hook and a piece of grass as a stop because it works. Then let's see if it produces any fish. It's produced one today. I think. I think that uh, someone's got eyes bigger than their belly today. This tiny roach took a chunk of meat that was probably half the size of him. Oh well, the fish is a fish. Nice roach, got a lovely blue colour across his back. Don't know if you can see it on you. Pristine condition. They might be small, but they're stunning. Here's another roach, uh, just caught it on that luncheon meat I showed you. He's in lovely condition, absolutely stunning fish. Probably one of my favourite coarse fish. They might not be the biggest, but they are the nicest. Let's see if we can get another one. This is the uh, third carp of the session. I forgot to film the second one, but it was a lovely common with golden colours. Third carp happens to be a nice ghosty. Whoop, whoop, he's a bit lively, so I'm going to get him back. It's a good session so far. Uh, see you when I get a fish on the bank. If. Right, I'm gonna call it a day beer. So I'm gonna leave my rod out while I pack up my things and see if anything else comes. Then I'll be going home. So if I don't get a fish, see you next time. Tight lines, wet nets.